こんにちは。英語のシャドーイング練習教室へようこそ。司会のシャドウです。ここでは役立つ英会話を練習してネイティブ英語を身につけよう。日常生活で使える英語フレーズを10個、10回ずつ読み上げるから、その後に声に出して10回練習しよう。それじゃあ、始めるよう。Hey Jordan, I've been really interested in Walt Disney lately. His work changed the entertainment world, and his legacy is huge. Can we talk about his life and career? I'd love to know how he achieved so much. Hey Jordan, I've been really interested in Walt Disney lately. His work changed the entertainment world, and his legacy is huge. Can we talk about his life and career? I'd love to know how he achieved so much. Hey Jordan, I've been really interested in Walt Disney lately. His work changed the entertainment world, and his legacy is huge. Can we talk about his life and career? I'd love to know how he achieved so much. Hey Jordan, I've been really interested in Walt Disney lately. His work changed the entertainment world, and his legacy is huge. Can we talk about his life and career? I'd love to know how he achieved so much. Hey Jordan, I've been really interested in Walt Disney lately. His work changed the entertainment world, and his legacy is huge. Can we talk about his life and career? I'd love to know how he achieved so much. Hey Jordan, I've been really interested in Walt Disney lately. His work changed the entertainment world, and his legacy is huge. Can we talk about his life and career? I'd love to know how he achieved so much. Hey Jordan, I've been really interested in Walt Disney lately. His work changed the entertainment world, and his legacy is huge. Can we talk about his life and career? I'd love to know how he achieved so much. Hey Jordan, I've been really interested in Walt Disney lately. His work changed the entertainment world, and his legacy is huge. Can we talk about his life and career? I'd love to know how he achieved so much. Hey Jordan, I've been really interested in Walt Disney lately. His work changed the entertainment world, and his legacy is huge. Can we talk about his life and career? I'd love to know how he achieved so much. Hey Jordan, I've been really interested in Walt Disney lately. His work changed the entertainment world, and his legacy is huge. Can we talk about his life and career? I'd love to know how he achieved so much.
Absolutely, Alex. Walt Disney was a visionary. He wasn't just an animator, he was a storyteller, a businessman, and a pioneer. He transformed the entertainment industry. Starting from humble beginnings, he built an empire through hard work and creativity. What part of his story interests you most? Absolutely, Alex. Walt Disney was a visionary. He wasn't just an animator, he was a storyteller, a businessman, and a pioneer. He transformed the entertainment industry. Starting from humble beginnings, he built an empire through hard work and creativity. What part of his story interests you most? Absolutely, Alex. Walt Disney was a visionary. He wasn't just an animator, he was a storyteller, a businessman, and a pioneer. He transformed the entertainment industry. Starting from humble beginnings, he built an empire through hard work and creativity. What part of his story interests you most? Absolutely, Alex. Walt Disney was a visionary. He wasn't just an animator, he was a storyteller, a businessman, and a pioneer. He transformed the entertainment industry. Starting from humble beginnings, he built an empire through hard work and creativity. What part of his story interests you most? Absolutely, Alex. Walt Disney was a visionary. He wasn't just an animator, he was a storyteller, a businessman, and a pioneer. He transformed the entertainment industry. Starting from humble beginnings, he built an empire through hard work and creativity. What part of his story interests you most? Absolutely, Alex. Walt Disney was a visionary. He wasn't just an animator, he was a storyteller, a businessman, and a pioneer. He transformed the entertainment industry. Starting from humble beginnings, he built an empire through hard work and creativity. What part of his story interests you most? Absolutely, Alex. Walt Disney was a visionary. He wasn't just an animator, he was a storyteller, a businessman, and a pioneer. He transformed the entertainment industry. Starting from humble beginnings, he built an empire through hard work and creativity. What part of his story interests you most?
Absolutely, Alex. Walt Disney was a visionary. He wasn't just an animator, he was a storyteller, a businessman, and a pioneer. He transformed the entertainment industry. Starting from humble beginnings, he built an empire through hard work and creativity. What part of his story interests you most? Absolutely, Alex. Walt Disney was a visionary. He wasn't just an animator, he was a storyteller, a businessman, and a pioneer. He transformed the entertainment industry. Starting from humble beginnings, he built an empire through hard work and creativity. What part of his story interests you most? Absolutely, Alex. Walt Disney was a visionary. He wasn't just an animator, he was a storyteller, a businessman, and a pioneer. He transformed the entertainment industry. Starting from humble beginnings, he built an empire through hard work and creativity. What part of his story interests you most? His early life is fascinating. He started with almost nothing, right? How did he begin in animation? Yes. Walt Disney was born in Chicago in 1901 but grew up in Missouri. He loved art from a young age and took classes at the Kansas City Art Institute as a teenager. He even started his first animation company, Lafogram Studios, in Kansas City, but it eventually went bankrupt. However, that experience gave him valuable connections. His early life is fascinating. He started with almost nothing, right? How did he begin in animation? Yes. Walt Disney was born in Chicago in 1901 but grew up in Missouri. He loved art from a young age and took classes at the Kansas City Art Institute as a teenager. He even started his first animation company, Lafogram Studios, in Kansas City, but it eventually went bankrupt. However, that experience gave him valuable connections. His early life is fascinating. He started with almost nothing, right? How did he begin in animation? Yes. Walt Disney was born in Chicago in 1901 but grew up in Missouri. He loved art from a young age and took classes at the Kansas City Art Institute as a teenager. He even started his first animation company, Lafogram Studios, in Kansas City, but it eventually went bankrupt. 
However, that experience gave him valuable connections. His early life is fascinating. He started with almost nothing, right? How did he begin in animation? Yes. Walt Disney was born in Chicago in 1901 but grew up in Missouri. He loved art from a young age and took classes at the Kansas City Art Institute as a teenager. He even started his first animation company, Lafogram Studios, in Kansas City, but it eventually went bankrupt. However, that experience gave him valuable connections. His early life is fascinating. He started with almost nothing, right? How did he begin in animation? Yes. Walt Disney was born in Chicago in 1901 but grew up in Missouri. He loved art from a young age and took classes at the Kansas City Art Institute as a teenager. He even started his first animation company, Lafogram Studios, in Kansas City, but it eventually went bankrupt. However, that experience gave him valuable connections. His early life is fascinating. He started with almost nothing, right? How did he begin in animation? Yes. Walt Disney was born in Chicago in 1901 but grew up in Missouri. He loved art from a young age and took classes at the Kansas City Art Institute as a teenager. He even started his first animation company, Lafogram Studios, in Kansas City, but it eventually went bankrupt. However, that experience gave him valuable connections. His early life is fascinating. He started with almost nothing, right? How did he begin in animation? Yes. Walt Disney was born in Chicago in 1901 but grew up in Missouri. He loved art from a young age and took classes at the Kansas City Art Institute as a teenager. He even started his first animation company, Lafogram Studios, in Kansas City, but it eventually went bankrupt. However, that experience gave him valuable connections. His early life is fascinating. He started with almost nothing, right? 
How did he begin in animation? Yes. Walt Disney was born in Chicago in 1901 but grew up in Missouri. He loved art from a young age and took classes at the Kansas City Art Institute as a teenager. He even started his first animation company, Lafogram Studios, in Kansas City, but it eventually went bankrupt. However, that experience gave him valuable connections. His early life is fascinating. He started with almost nothing, right? How did he begin in animation? Yes. Walt Disney was born in Chicago in 1901 but grew up in Missouri. He loved art from a young age and took classes at the Kansas City Art Institute as a teenager. He even started his first animation company, Lafogram Studios, in Kansas City, but it eventually went bankrupt. However, that experience gave him valuable connections. His early life is fascinating. He started with almost nothing, right? How did he begin in animation? Yes. Walt Disney was born in Chicago in 1901 but grew up in Missouri. He loved art from a young age and took classes at the Kansas City Art Institute as a teenager. He even started his first animation company, Lafogram Studios, in Kansas City, but it eventually went bankrupt. However, that experience gave him valuable connections. So even after his first company failed, he didn't give up. That's inspiring. How did he go from that to creating Mickey Mouse? Great question. After Lafogram failed, he moved to Hollywood with almost no money. In 1928, he created Mickey Mouse. The character debuted in Steamboat Willie, one of the first cartoons with synchronized sound, and it was a hit. Mickey quickly became a cultural icon. So even after his first company failed, he didn't give up. That's inspiring. How did he go from that to creating Mickey Mouse? Great question. After Lafogram failed, he moved to Hollywood with almost no money. In 1928, he created Mickey Mouse. The character debuted in Steamboat Willie, one of the first cartoons with synchronized sound, and it was a hit. Mickey quickly became a cultural icon.
So even after his first company failed, he didn't give up. That's inspiring. How did he go from that to creating Mickey Mouse? Great question. After Lafogram failed, he moved to Hollywood with almost no money. In 1928, he created Mickey Mouse. The character debuted in Steamboat Willie, one of the first cartoons with synchronized sound, and it was a hit. Mickey quickly became a cultural icon. So even after his first company failed, he didn't give up. That's inspiring. How did he go from that to creating Mickey Mouse? Great question. After Lafogram failed, he moved to Hollywood with almost no money. In 1928, he created Mickey Mouse. The character debuted in Steamboat Willie, one of the first cartoons with synchronized sound, and it was a hit. Mickey quickly became a cultural icon. So even after his first company failed, he didn't give up. That's inspiring. How did he go from that to creating Mickey Mouse? Great question. After Lafogram failed, he moved to Hollywood with almost no money. In 1928, he created Mickey Mouse. The character debuted in Steamboat Willie, one of the first cartoons with synchronized sound, and it was a hit. Mickey quickly became a cultural icon. So even after his first company failed, he didn't give up. That's inspiring. How did he go from that to creating Mickey Mouse? Great question. After Lafogram failed, he moved to Hollywood with almost no money. In 1928, he created Mickey Mouse. The character debuted in Steamboat Willie, one of the first cartoons with synchronized sound, and it was a hit. Mickey quickly became a cultural icon. So even after his first company failed, he didn't give up. That's inspiring. How did he go from that to creating Mickey Mouse? Great question. After Lafogram failed, he moved to Hollywood with almost no money. In 1928, he created Mickey Mouse. The character debuted in Steamboat Willie, one of the first cartoons with synchronized sound, and it was a hit. Mickey quickly became a cultural icon.
So even after his first company failed, he didn't give up. That's inspiring. How did he go from that to creating Mickey Mouse? Great question. After Lafogram failed, he moved to Hollywood with almost no money. In 1928, he created Mickey Mouse. The character debuted in Steamboat Willie, one of the first cartoons with synchronized sound, and it was a hit. Mickey quickly became a cultural icon. So even after his first company failed, he didn't give up. That's inspiring. How did he go from that to creating Mickey Mouse? Great question. After Lafogram failed, he moved to Hollywood with almost no money. In 1928, he created Mickey Mouse. The character debuted in Steamboat Willie, one of the first cartoons with synchronized sound, and it was a hit. Mickey quickly became a cultural icon. So even after his first company failed, he didn't give up. That's inspiring. How did he go from that to creating Mickey Mouse? Great question. After Lafogram failed, he moved to Hollywood with almost no money. In 1928, he created Mickey Mouse. The character debuted in Steamboat Willie, one of the first cartoons with synchronized sound, and it was a hit. Mickey quickly became a cultural icon. Mickey Mouse was definitely a turning point. But how did he go from cartoons to Disneyland? By the 1950s, Disney had a successful studio with films like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the first full-length animated feature. Disney wanted to create a place for families to enjoy together. Despite financial risks, he opened Disneyland in 1955, and it was an instant success, becoming a model for theme parks worldwide. Mickey Mouse was definitely a turning point. But how did he go from cartoons to Disneyland? By the 1950s, Disney had a successful studio with films like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the first full-length animated feature. Disney wanted to create a place for families to enjoy together. Despite financial risks, he opened Disneyland in 1955, and it was an instant success, becoming a model for theme parks worldwide.
Mickey Mouse was definitely a turning point. But how did he go from cartoons to Disneyland? By the 1950s, Disney had a successful studio with films like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the first full-length animated feature. Disney wanted to create a place for families to enjoy together. Despite financial risks, he opened Disneyland in 1955, and it was an instant success, becoming a model for theme parks worldwide. Mickey Mouse was definitely a turning point. But how did he go from cartoons to Disneyland? By the 1950s, Disney had a successful studio with films like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the first full-length animated feature. Disney wanted to create a place for families to enjoy together. Despite financial risks, he opened Disneyland in 1955, and it was an instant success, becoming a model for theme parks worldwide. Mickey Mouse was definitely a turning point. But how did he go from cartoons to Disneyland? By the 1950s, Disney had a successful studio with films like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the first full-length animated feature. Disney wanted to create a place for families to enjoy together. Despite financial risks, he opened Disneyland in 1955, and it was an instant success, becoming a model for theme parks worldwide. Mickey Mouse was definitely a turning point. But how did he go from cartoons to Disneyland? By the 1950s, Disney had a successful studio with films like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the first full-length animated feature. Disney wanted to create a place for families to enjoy together. Despite financial risks, he opened Disneyland in 1955, and it was an instant success, becoming a model for theme parks worldwide. Mickey Mouse was definitely a turning point. But how did he go from cartoons to Disneyland? By the 1950s, Disney had a successful studio with films like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the first full-length animated feature. Disney wanted to create a place for families to enjoy together. Despite financial risks, he opened Disneyland in 1955, and it was an instant success, becoming a model for theme parks worldwide.
Mickey Mouse was definitely a turning point. But how did he go from cartoons to Disneyland? By the 1950s, Disney had a successful studio with films like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the first full-length animated feature. Disney wanted to create a place for families to enjoy together. Despite financial risks, he opened Disneyland in 1955, and it was an instant success, becoming a model for theme parks worldwide. Mickey Mouse was definitely a turning point. But how did he go from cartoons to Disneyland? By the 1950s, Disney had a successful studio with films like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the first full-length animated feature. Disney wanted to create a place for families to enjoy together. Despite financial risks, he opened Disneyland in 1955, and it was an instant success, becoming a model for theme parks worldwide. Mickey Mouse was definitely a turning point. But how did he go from cartoons to Disneyland? By the 1950s, Disney had a successful studio with films like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the first full-length animated feature. Disney wanted to create a place for families to enjoy together. Despite financial risks, he opened Disneyland in 1955, and it was an instant success, becoming a model for theme parks worldwide. It's amazing how he was always ahead of his time. What made his approach to animation so groundbreaking? Disney was a perfectionist. He pushed animation boundaries, using techniques like multiplane cameras for depth and synchronized sound. He treated animation as an art form that could convey emotion and tell deep stories, setting him apart. It's amazing how he was always ahead of his time. What made his approach to animation so groundbreaking? Disney was a perfectionist. He pushed animation boundaries, using techniques like multiplane cameras for depth and synchronized sound. He treated animation as an art form that could convey emotion and tell deep stories, setting him apart. It's amazing how he was always ahead of his time. What made his approach to animation so groundbreaking? Disney was a perfectionist. 
He pushed animation boundaries, using techniques like multiplane cameras for depth and synchronized sound. He treated animation as an art form that could convey emotion and tell deep stories, setting him apart. It's amazing how he was always ahead of his time. What made his approach to animation so groundbreaking? Disney was a perfectionist. He pushed animation boundaries, using techniques like multiplane cameras for depth and synchronized sound. He treated animation as an art form that could convey emotion and tell deep stories, setting him apart. It's amazing how he was always ahead of his time. What made his approach to animation so groundbreaking? Disney was a perfectionist. He pushed animation boundaries, using techniques like multiplane cameras for depth and synchronized sound. He treated animation as an art form that could convey emotion and tell deep stories, setting him apart. It's amazing how he was always ahead of his time. What made his approach to animation so groundbreaking? Disney was a perfectionist. He pushed animation boundaries, using techniques like multiplane cameras for depth and synchronized sound. He treated animation as an art form that could convey emotion and tell deep stories, setting him apart. It's amazing how he was always ahead of his time. What made his approach to animation so groundbreaking? Disney was a perfectionist. He pushed animation boundaries, using techniques like multiplane cameras for depth and synchronized sound. He treated animation as an art form that could convey emotion and tell deep stories, setting him apart. It's amazing how he was always ahead of his time. What made his approach to animation so groundbreaking? Disney was a perfectionist. He pushed animation boundaries, using techniques like multiplane cameras for depth and synchronized sound. He treated animation as an art form that could convey emotion and tell deep stories, setting him apart. It's amazing how he was always ahead of his time. What made his approach to animation so groundbreaking? Disney was a perfectionist. He pushed animation boundaries, using techniques like multiplane cameras for depth and synchronized sound. 
He treated animation as an art form that could convey emotion and tell deep stories, setting him apart. It's amazing how he was always ahead of his time. What made his approach to animation so groundbreaking? Disney was a perfectionist. He pushed animation boundaries, using techniques like multiplane cameras for depth and synchronized sound. He treated animation as an art form that could convey emotion and tell deep stories, setting him apart. That's impressive. I heard he faced failures too. How did he handle setbacks? Yes, he had challenges, like losing the rights to his character Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. But instead of giving up, he created Mickey Mouse. His philosophy was to learn from mistakes and keep moving forward, showing incredible resilience. That's impressive. I heard he faced failures too. How did he handle setbacks? Yes, he had challenges, like losing the rights to his character Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. But instead of giving up, he created Mickey Mouse. His philosophy was to learn from mistakes and keep moving forward, showing incredible resilience. That's impressive. I heard he faced failures too. How did he handle setbacks? Yes, he had challenges, like losing the rights to his character Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. But instead of giving up, he created Mickey Mouse. His philosophy was to learn from mistakes and keep moving forward, showing incredible resilience. That's impressive. I heard he faced failures too. How did he handle setbacks? Yes, he had challenges, like losing the rights to his character Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. But instead of giving up, he created Mickey Mouse. His philosophy was to learn from mistakes and keep moving forward, showing incredible resilience. That's impressive. I heard he faced failures too. How did he handle setbacks? Yes, he had challenges, like losing the rights to his character Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. But instead of giving up, he created Mickey Mouse. 
His philosophy was to learn from mistakes and keep moving forward, showing incredible resilience. That's impressive. I heard he faced failures too. How did he handle setbacks? Yes, he had challenges, like losing the rights to his character Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. But instead of giving up, he created Mickey Mouse. His philosophy was to learn from mistakes and keep moving forward, showing incredible resilience. That's impressive. I heard he faced failures too. How did he handle setbacks? Yes, he had challenges, like losing the rights to his character Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. But instead of giving up, he created Mickey Mouse. His philosophy was to learn from mistakes and keep moving forward, showing incredible resilience. That's impressive. I heard he faced failures too. How did he handle setbacks? Yes, he had challenges, like losing the rights to his character Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. But instead of giving up, he created Mickey Mouse. His philosophy was to learn from mistakes and keep moving forward, showing incredible resilience. That's impressive. I heard he faced failures too. How did he handle setbacks? Yes, he had challenges, like losing the rights to his character Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. But instead of giving up, he created Mickey Mouse. His philosophy was to learn from mistakes and keep moving forward, showing incredible resilience. That's impressive. I heard he faced failures too. How did he handle setbacks? Yes, he had challenges, like losing the rights to his character Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. But instead of giving up, he created Mickey Mouse. His philosophy was to learn from mistakes and keep moving forward, showing incredible resilience. It sounds like his mindset was key to his success. Was it just his creativity that made him successful? It was a mix of creativity, business sense, and perseverance. He surrounded himself with talented people, was a branding expert, and focused on quality and detail. 
He didn't just create characters, he built a whole world around them. It sounds like his mindset was key to his success. Was it just his creativity that made him successful? It was a mix of creativity, business sense, and perseverance. He surrounded himself with talented people, was a branding expert, and focused on quality and detail. He didn't just create characters, he built a whole world around them. It sounds like his mindset was key to his success. Was it just his creativity that made him successful? It was a mix of creativity, business sense, and perseverance. He surrounded himself with talented people, was a branding expert, and focused on quality and detail. He didn't just create characters, he built a whole world around them. It sounds like his mindset was key to his success. Was it just his creativity that made him successful? It was a mix of creativity, business sense, and perseverance. He surrounded himself with talented people, was a branding expert, and focused on quality and detail. He didn't just create characters, he built a whole world around them. It sounds like his mindset was key to his success. Was it just his creativity that made him successful? It was a mix of creativity, business sense, and perseverance. He surrounded himself with talented people, was a branding expert, and focused on quality and detail. He didn't just create characters, he built a whole world around them. It sounds like his mindset was key to his success. Was it just his creativity that made him successful? It was a mix of creativity, business sense, and perseverance. He surrounded himself with talented people, was a branding expert, and focused on quality and detail. He didn't just create characters, he built a whole world around them. It sounds like his mindset was key to his success. Was it just his creativity that made him successful? It was a mix of creativity, business sense, and perseverance. He surrounded himself with talented people, was a branding expert, and focused on quality and detail. He didn't just create characters, he built a whole world around them.
It sounds like his mindset was key to his success. Was it just his creativity that made him successful? It was a mix of creativity, business sense, and perseverance. He surrounded himself with talented people, was a branding expert, and focused on quality and detail. He didn't just create characters, he built a whole world around them. It sounds like his mindset was key to his success. Was it just his creativity that made him successful? It was a mix of creativity, business sense, and perseverance. He surrounded himself with talented people, was a branding expert, and focused on quality and detail. He didn't just create characters, he built a whole world around them. It sounds like his mindset was key to his success. Was it just his creativity that made him successful? It was a mix of creativity, business sense, and perseverance. He surrounded himself with talented people, was a branding expert, and focused on quality and detail. He didn't just create characters, he built a whole world around them. His influence is still everywhere today. How has his legacy shaped modern entertainment? Disney's legacy is huge. His innovations laid the groundwork for modern animation, and his focus on immersive storytelling set industry standards. Disneyland and Disney World revolutionized theme parks. Beyond that, his approach to branding and customer experience has influenced many industries. His influence is still everywhere today. How has his legacy shaped modern entertainment? Disney's legacy is huge. His innovations laid the groundwork for modern animation, and his focus on immersive storytelling set industry standards. Disneyland and Disney World revolutionized theme parks. Beyond that, his approach to branding and customer experience has influenced many industries. His influence is still everywhere today. How has his legacy shaped modern entertainment? Disney's legacy is huge. His innovations laid the groundwork for modern animation, and his focus on immersive storytelling set industry standards. Disneyland and Disney World revolutionized theme parks. Beyond that, his approach to branding and customer experience has influenced many industries.
His influence is still everywhere today. How has his legacy shaped modern entertainment? Disney's legacy is huge. His innovations laid the groundwork for modern animation, and his focus on immersive storytelling set industry standards. Disneyland and Disney World revolutionized theme parks. Beyond that, his approach to branding and customer experience has influenced many industries. His influence is still everywhere today. How has his legacy shaped modern entertainment? Disney's legacy is huge. His innovations laid the groundwork for modern animation, and his focus on immersive storytelling set industry standards. Disneyland and Disney World revolutionized theme parks. Beyond that, his approach to branding and customer experience has influenced many industries. His influence is still everywhere today. How has his legacy shaped modern entertainment? Disney's legacy is huge. His innovations laid the groundwork for modern animation, and his focus on immersive storytelling set industry standards. Disneyland and Disney World revolutionized theme parks. Beyond that, his approach to branding and customer experience has influenced many industries. His influence is still everywhere today. How has his legacy shaped modern entertainment? Disney's legacy is huge. His innovations laid the groundwork for modern animation, and his focus on immersive storytelling set industry standards. Disneyland and Disney World revolutionized theme parks. Beyond that, his approach to branding and customer experience has influenced many industries. His influence is still everywhere today. How has his legacy shaped modern entertainment? Disney's legacy is huge. His innovations laid the groundwork for modern animation, and his focus on immersive storytelling set industry standards. Disneyland and Disney World revolutionized theme parks. Beyond that, his approach to branding and customer experience has influenced many industries. His influence is still everywhere today. How has his legacy shaped modern entertainment? Disney's legacy is huge. His innovations laid the groundwork for modern animation, and his focus on immersive storytelling set industry standards. Disneyland and Disney World revolutionized theme parks. Beyond that, his approach to branding and customer experience has influenced many industries.
His influence is still everywhere today. How has his legacy shaped modern entertainment? Disney's legacy is huge. His innovations laid the groundwork for modern animation, and his focus on immersive storytelling set industry standards. Disneyland and Disney World revolutionized theme parks. Beyond that, his approach to branding and customer experience has influenced many industries. It's amazing how far-reaching his impact is. Is there anyone today who's similar to Walt Disney? That's a tough question. Visionary leaders like Steven Spielberg and George Lucas are impactful, but Disney was unique in combining creativity, storytelling, and business on such a massive scale. His influence is hard to match. I agree, he really was one of a kind. Thanks for talking about this with me, Jordan. I understand his impact much better now. You're welcome, Alex. Walt Disney's story is one of resilience, innovation, and dreaming big. He's truly an inspiration. It's amazing how far-reaching his impact is. Is there anyone today who's similar to Walt Disney? That's a tough question. Visionary leaders like Steven Spielberg and George Lucas are impactful, but Disney was unique in combining creativity, storytelling, and business on such a massive scale. His influence is hard to match. I agree, he really was one of a kind. Thanks for talking about this with me, Jordan. I understand his impact much better now. You're welcome, Alex. Walt Disney's story is one of resilience, innovation, and dreaming big. He's truly an inspiration. It's amazing how far-reaching his impact is. Is there anyone today who's similar to Walt Disney? That's a tough question. Visionary leaders like Steven Spielberg and George Lucas are impactful, but Disney was unique in combining creativity, storytelling, and business on such a massive scale. His influence is hard to match. I agree, he really was one of a kind. Thanks for talking about this with me, Jordan. I understand his impact much better now. You're welcome, Alex. Walt Disney's story is one of resilience, innovation, and dreaming big. He's truly an inspiration.
It's amazing how far-reaching his impact is. Is there anyone today who's similar to Walt Disney? That's a tough question. Visionary leaders like Steven Spielberg and George Lucas are impactful, but Disney was unique in combining creativity, storytelling, and business on such a massive scale. His influence is hard to match. I agree, he really was one of a kind. Thanks for talking about this with me, Jordan. I understand his impact much better now. You're welcome, Alex. Walt Disney's story is one of resilience, innovation, and dreaming big. He's truly an inspiration. It's amazing how far-reaching his impact is. Is there anyone today who's similar to Walt Disney? That's a tough question. Visionary leaders like Steven Spielberg and George Lucas are impactful, but Disney was unique in combining creativity, storytelling, and business on such a massive scale. His influence is hard to match. I agree, he really was one of a kind. Thanks for talking about this with me, Jordan. I understand his impact much better now. You're welcome, Alex. Walt Disney's story is one of resilience, innovation, and dreaming big. He's truly an inspiration. It's amazing how far-reaching his impact is. Is there anyone today who's similar to Walt Disney? That's a tough question. Visionary leaders like Steven Spielberg and George Lucas are impactful, but Disney was unique in combining creativity, storytelling, and business on such a massive scale. His influence is hard to match. I agree, he really was one of a kind. Thanks for talking about this with me, Jordan. I understand his impact much better now. You're welcome, Alex. Walt Disney's story is one of resilience, innovation, and dreaming big. He's truly an inspiration. It's amazing how far-reaching his impact is. Is there anyone today who's similar to Walt Disney? That's a tough question. Visionary leaders like Steven Spielberg and George Lucas are impactful, but Disney was unique in combining creativity, storytelling, and business on such a massive scale. His influence is hard to match. I agree, he really was one of a kind. Thanks for talking about this with me, Jordan. I understand his impact much better now. You're welcome, Alex. Walt Disney's story is one of resilience, innovation, and dreaming big. 
He's truly an inspiration. It's amazing how far-reaching his impact is. Is there anyone today who's similar to Walt Disney? That's a tough question. Visionary leaders like Steven Spielberg and George Lucas are impactful, but Disney was unique in combining creativity, storytelling, and business on such a massive scale. His influence is hard to match. I agree, he really was one of a kind. Thanks for talking about this with me. Jordan. I understand his impact much better now. You're welcome, Alex. Walt Disney's story is one of resilience, innovation, and dreaming big. He's truly an inspiration. It's amazing how far-reaching his impact is. Is there anyone today who's similar to Walt Disney? That's a tough question. Visionary leaders like Steven Spielberg and George Lucas are impactful, but Disney was unique in combining creativity, storytelling, and business on such a massive scale. His influence is hard to match. I agree, he really was one of a kind. Thanks for talking about this with me, Jordan. I understand his impact much better now. You're welcome, Alex. Walt Disney's story is one of resilience, innovation, and dreaming big. He's truly an inspiration. It's amazing how far-reaching his impact is. Is there anyone today who's similar to Walt Disney? That's a tough question. Visionary leaders like Steven Spielberg and George Lucas are impactful, but Disney was unique in combining creativity, storytelling, and business on such a massive scale. His influence is hard to match. I agree, he really was one of a kind. Thanks for talking about this with me, Jordan. I understand his impact much better now. You're welcome, Alex. Walt Disney's story is one of resilience, innovation, and dreaming big. He's truly an inspiration.
今回の練習はこれで終わりです。お疲れ様でした。もしよかったらチャンネル登録をお願いします。それじゃ、またね。